Ellis, I'm going to uh, 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 share a, another story from the Pardo family uh, with you. This is Please my uh, my uh, cousin slash stepbrother. That's right. You heard it. Um, <laughs> that, that, the hillbilly part of my family. Uh, they are not. Just the whole situation was white trashy. Um, but not really. Anyhow, they had a little boy named, he's now, he's now I think, 30. Stephen is his name. Uh, but when he was born, uh, uh, you know, he, you know, he then got to be that age of, uh, you know, like uh, preschool age and, and was at daycare, uh, might have even been in kindergarten. And they, uh, they also, uh, I, there's no way to sell this story without kind of giving away the punchline, but they also had a, uh, they had a, a, a cat, an, uh, an orange cat. And um, the, uh, Stephen would go to school and talk about how Rusty, uh, Rusty licks his butt and Rusty is the kitty cat. And uh, Rusty licks his butt, and uh, Rusty lick, does this, Rusty does this. And then my uh, there was a parent-teacher conference, and my stepbrother slash cousin uh, walks in with his red hair, and they said, do you have a nickname, Rusty, by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, dear. Yeah. And and, and, and I'll say, Scott's like, no, no, Rusty's our cat. (laughs) And apparently the look of relief on all of these teachers' faces was like, oh, God, thank God. Oh, this this conversation is going to go in a different direction then. Is your nickname Rusty by any chance? Oh, God. Um, And uh, so we wish wish all uh, kittens uh, luck. And redheads. Uh, And redheads. (laughs) uh, Certainly. Uh, Having... uh, uh, stepbrothers, two of them that had red hair. I know that that oh. cannot be easy. That, Ooh, that. Wow, I didn't know there were two. Uh, yeah, my uh, uh, you've met my cousin Ron mm-hmm. at uh, Live uh, Never Not Funnies. Does he have red hair? He doesn't have any hair at the moment. Oh, that because I didn't remember. Um, that. He is uh, he is uh, sh- he has decided to shave it all mm-hmm. and then ride a Harley. <laughs> so yeah. he'd rather be bald than redheaded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 sure, for comedy, I'll, I'll yes and that. Okay. But I also think age has a lot to do with sure, it, sure. where he finally gave it. Alice Hamilton is here. Uh, <laughs> Alice, where in Oregon? Did you grow up in Oregon? Yes. Where in Oregon? Um, Like just the, the, the suburbs of Portland. Um, now, what would that Hillsboro, be? Hillsborough, Tigard, Beaverton, Aloha for a minute. Oh, you you lived in all these cities? Yeah. You bounced around to all these different bounced suburbs? Bounced around the suburbs of Portland for, well, for a while. Why were you on the, were you guys on the lam? Your parents murderers? <laughs> no. Um, I mean, if you want me to tell you why we moved. Oh, I don't think I okay. do. Okay. <laughs> just, just based on the way you said it, I don't, I don't know. Uh, it, it sounds like you don't want, you don't want me to know. It's a, you know, I think it's a funny story, but some people find it very uncomfortable. My mom, some, some black people moved in next door to us and my mom was like, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh. Uh, Cause she is white. Well, she's actually like half German, half Mexican. My dad's black. They're still married. Uh, they the, love Trump. They're weird. They're, uh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. A lot coming out of us. Yeah. You, all right. So you, your father. Father is black. Yes, and I've seen you. You uh, you appear black to me. I do have an afro. Um, <laughs> a black family moves next door, and your mom's like, two's plenty yeah, with yeah, you yeah, and yeah. your father." And then we got to move. I have a, I have four siblings, so she's surrounded by oh. black people, and she's just oh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> she, I guess she just she hit her she hit her she hit her maximum. You know, <laughs> sure. she, she she reached maximum capacity, what? and she had to. Get the fuck out of there. Wow. And so then she just kept moving because uh, yeah. you people wouldn't leave her alone. I know. <laughs> Poor lady. Uh, yeah. Then we moved to like my, my mom's brother uh, had like a mobile home and he was just living in. And I guess my, my mom kicked him out of there, <laughs> made him move in with her dad. He gets a job trucking. Our family of seven moves into the mobile home for a few months. We're just like, you know, five kids in one bed. Well, we were having a blast. We didn't know that that was like terrible Awful, right yeah but uh we we were loving it it was you know fun uh we were not allowed to speak to any of our neighbors which in retrospect i completely understand my mom's <laughs> choice to be like she was like if you ever go in anyone else's mobile home i will be you oh, geez. <laughs> and uh-huh. she she meant that shit yeah then we moved to aloha there was like a park next door so we were thrilled as kids were like oh we can go across the street go to the park my mom sees a handful of mexicans there she's like there's gangs at the park you were never allowed to go oh, to that park so now we can't go uh we moved again because we well, just again she was half mexican right Yes. Okay. All white, <laughs> black hair, but all she's, uh, okay. you know. She, so yeah. Then we moved to this, this house in, uh, in it was actually in Portland, um, barely. It was on Skyline Boulevard. It was like a four story house. It was a big basement. There's an attic. It was old. It was built in 1912. It would fill up with bugs. I was just in Portland talking to my sister, and we're like, yeah, we're fine with every bug except for the ones that would like crawl on our beds as kids. Oh Jesus. Yeah, box elder beetles. I don't know if what they're called. They're just. 
But we were talking, I was like, oh yeah, we still freak out, still have nightmares about that shit all the time. And then we moved to like the proper suburbs and we got a house that no one else had lived in before. And it was under construction when my parents mortgaged it. And it's like, yeah, they got us from the mobile home into the into a nice, there was two parks, we could go anytime we wanted. There was no scary no Mexicans. Risk of gangs. <laughs> no one. The Mexicans were in a neighborhood next door. My mom was happy about that. And uh, my parents lived there until last year when they moved to Texas. So now they're in Texas. Oh. and Where they should have been the whole goddamn time. <laughs> because it's, uh, you, you set off the year and you said it on the show. They're Trump supporters. Yes, we grew up. We, they homeschooled all of us. We grew up watching TV preachers and like all of that, you know. There was one TV preacher named Kenneth Copeland who went viral at the beginning of COVID because he tried to spit to be like, COVID, you get away yeah. from us. And, and everyone's like, why are you spitting? Right. The one thing you're not supposed <laughs> to do. The one thing doing. you're yes. not supposed to do. Yeah. Right. And it's every once in a while, a, a TV preacher will go viral for like buying themselves a $52 million private jet. Right. And they're like, I need this to spread the gospel. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I love that guy. I used to listen to him all the time. He's so funny. <laughs> and your parents still, do they still watch these guys? Mm-hmm. I think they moved to Texas so they could be there in person and they didn't have to watch their favorite preachers from the TV. Oh, they, and they go now. They go to the big shed where these guys do their their, their skits. Shed? I'm talking about an arena. <laughs> right, right, Coliseums, yeah. yeah. I come from the rock world. The shed is an arena. Oh, oh Lo Siento. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. Is that gang talk? What just happened? <laughs> I don't know. Gotta move again. Is your yeah, mother? <laughs> that's gang speak for I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Do I need to be, get, get me on the move? What's happening? Yeah. Um... So, all right, are you the youngest, oldest? Where do you fall I'm in line? I'm number four out of five kids. Okay. So there's one younger than me. And the younger one, she also lives in Texas. She's a sweetheart. She She's the only one that's still religious, though. And she, she lives in Texas. And when she moved to Texas, she's like the only kid that still kind of likes my parents. They were like, we'll f- go where we're wanted. Wow. And then <laughs> the other four of you, you and the other three, right? That's five. Yeah. Uh, when you say still like, your, you, do you talk to your parents? I do I just blocked my mom's phone number. What? <laughs> really? Whoa. Yes. No, I mean, this is like, I'm laughing. You guys are like, oh my God, this is devastating. Uh, <laughs> never not funny. <laughs> <laughs> to hear the whole conversation, subscribe for free on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts or visit nevernotfunny.com.